In this episode, we take a little break from Project Love Fairmont so we can show some love to the 2015 EcoBoost Mustang. Welcome to the channel, my name is Grant Tommy. This is Straight Six Fan, where I like to focus on budget-minded, relatable, creative builds, a little something I like to call offbeat hot rodding. And first off, um, for those of you who are my longtime subscribers, well, first off, welcome new new viewers, but longtime subscribers, you know my last two uploads I've been struggling with losing some audio here and there. So this episode I'm recording with no external mic, because it's either gonna be my external mic or it's my mic jack, so I don't really know for sure at the moment, either way, the onboard microphone hopefully is working. So if the audio isn't as good as it normally is, I'm sorry, but I figured lower quality audio is better than it cutting out. But anyway, today we are installing the UPR dual valve catch can on the EcoBoost Mustang. And if you hadn't known up here, uh, there's where I unboxed the catch can. But, um, so I'm doing a, a somewhat of a how-to install. This is an installation that's kind of hard to show really what's going on, uh, but I've taken some people's recommendations from struggles I've read on forums, uh, things that aren't shown in other videos, and I'm incorporating them here. First off, I went ahead a couple weeks ago and installed the catch can itself, which installs right on the strut tower. They do give you a longer stud uh, with the added thickness of the mounting bracket. Um, and as you can see, I've taped up all of these just so I didn't get water or anything in any of the valves as my wife was driving it around until now. It is Monday here, the day after my last upload, which are normally Sundays, and I'm pre-recording this right now because uh, I'm just concluding tube 66 by the time this goes live. But anyway, I figure you guys pretty much, that's self-explanatory, you can figure out how to do that. Next up, the most valuable advice I can give you is to remove the stock airbox, which is literally just held down by one 10 millimeter bolt. I have it pulled out over here to the side. And the reason you do that is because what they're calling the dirty side of this operation, the PCV valve itself, or PCV, um, is in a blind spot. Like, if you see the cover, this is basically the shape of the intake manifold runners. And what you're trying to reach is actually in the cavity underneath the intake runners. So I will be taking the cover off here in a second to show you, but the hardest thing that I found a couple weeks ago when I tried doing this was being able to reach that. So you take out the air box, and this allows you, I have skinny enough arms, to go below this little T-fitting. You can get your arm up in there, and just slightly above the starter and the motor mount, you can feel around um, for the quick disconnect. Let me try to pull that out for you guys so you can see what that looks like. Actually, I'm gonna have to remove it from the other end. Um, which which we will do here shortly. For the engine cover itself, it is a 10 millimeter stud, or I guess we should say um, nut, as well as an eight millimeter, um, and the two of them happen to be caddy cornered from each other. So when I say the dirty side of the positive crank case ventilation, I mean the side that comes from the oil pan. So this tube right here, all right, this is the uh, what the the quick disconnect looks like from the top, and we'll pull this off shortly. But this basically would take that oil-borne pressurized air and send it back into the intake runner. But let's get this off. So here's a quick look at what we just removed, and um, just so you know, because it, it took me a while to, to understand it or figure out, but the quick release is, is pushing down in this direction. 
does that, which allows you to pull it off the fitting. Anyway, let's get to installing my new hoses. Now the kit comes with three hoses in it because there are three valves, of course, on the catch can. And in the instructions, they mention that the check valve should always flow away from the catch can. So two of the hoses have check valves and two are similar length. Now, the one that goes from the dirty side to the catch can does not need a check valve. So that has to be this one. So it's the second longest hose. So we will install that. This, this one, of course, comes or hooks up to the other side of the PCV we removed, the stock piece, into the catch can. And then this one goes to the turbo inlet. So while I finish that installation up, and again, there's other videos out there that cover this in a lot better detail than I am. The point of my video was more or less to show you the trick with the stock airbox, because that is not on anybody's video, and I had the dang this time. So hopefully I can save you a lot of time um, being able to get to the basically the oil pan side. But anyway, as we finish up this install, I will go ahead and give you a little bit of tech on the purpose and why you would want to purchase a catch can in the first place. You may be wondering by now why a catch can in the first place. Well, the PCV or positive crankcase ventilation system is intended to help reduce engine blow-by and to a lesser extent em emissions. And essentially, the PCV eliminates excessive crankcase pressure by providing a relief path for this pressure rather than it trying to find its way past the piston rings in the reverse direction. As a result, this air that gets routed back into the intake to be reburned is oil contaminated. So since all EcoBoost engines have direct fuel injection, the way that the air fuel mix is delivered to the combustion chamber, the oil molecules now have a greater chance of building up not only on the back side of the valve, but actually on the face of the valve, whereas port injected motors, or even carbureted motors to a lesser extent, uh, typically had all of that just deposit on the back face of the valve. So a catch can is basically an interruption in that path. It's just kind of a, a gravity drop system to quote unquote catch the oil out of the air uh, before it returns it back to the intake system. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, or subscribe. I don't really care which one you do, as long as you do one. If you want to support the channel in more of a monetary way, I invite you to check out my Spreadshirt store for straight six inspired t-shirt designs. There's a link down in the description below, and I've also left a link in the description below to a very similar product, not the one you saw in this episode, the UPR brand, but a catch can if you would like to take a look at that on Amazon. That'll do it for this episode. Until next time, peace out.